Hello YouTubers, um, I hope that you can hear me well. Uh, we got the fan going for the fireplace. But I'm here to talk to you about the S2L uh, method, which S2L means the first two layers of the cube. <coughs> now, not to be rude or anything, but if you do not know how to put this cube together, a 3x3, three three, in the first place, this video is not for you. This is the next advanced stage past that. I've watched video after video of people trying to explain S2L, and I never understood it just until last night. And then I was like, oh, I've got to make a video about that for people that are like me and just wanted that extra, you know, need that oop. But, uh, you know, you get your cross on the bottom here. I try to get the contrast right on the computer. It's kind of hard to do. Shiny stickers and all. But you got the white cross on the bottom. <coughs> and as you know from there, you put it on the bottom and you work from the top up. Now, this is a <coughs> this is a basically where it comes in. Uh, people say okay I see this corner right here and now I'm going to go to this one we're going to get these two together but they don't tell you why or anything well that's what I'm here to tell you and that's why I always had problems not being able to figure it out okay on this one here it's white and red and blue. Now ignore the white because we know the white's going to go on the bottom. So we got red and blue. We want to match it with another red and blue. Now we got a red and blue right here and it's lined up perfectly. So the blue and the red. So then all you have to do is this is the red, this is the blue side. So if I ride in between here like this and it takes care of both of these sides. Now, of course, it is going to take out the middle here, which <coughs> that's when you come in and do this right here, which I use the end, and you get that back there to the center, and then that back there, and look at there. You got your red and your blue. And then you do the same thing again. Like on this one here. It's white. Then it's blue on top. And it's orange here. So we need to look for an orange and blue one to match up with this one and then slide it in its place. Now instead of just saying, I see this one and I'm going to pick this one, I told you the exact colors and why it is done that way. That is what the other videos are missing. Um no offense to the other videos you people did really great I wouldn't have made it where I am right now without you but this is just an update I guess of your videos because as you see mine it's still got you know cross on the bottom and you got the first two layers I mean just just like that I mean it's so much easier than saying I see you white here and I'm going to use this one here. Well, why are you going to use this one? Why? That's the question. That's what I always wanted to know. Now that I know, I can solve it a lot easier. Now, because I just learned this, this actually takes me longer than if I did it uh, one by one, uh, you know, middle piece at the time. But uh, <clears throat> once you practice this enough, you'll be pretty fast so I just wanted to, to give it a good upgrade on the S2L here because I mean every video will point to a side with the white and then go we're going to use this cube but never why why are we using this cube tell me why well now you know just like on this one it's white orange and green so you want to look for orange and green. 
here's the orange and green right here and all you would really do is just bind it up and then slide it into its perspective place and that's it um, when I finally figured it out I, I couldn't believe it I, I kept on doing it until I got so sleepy I, that I couldn't even solve it put it that way but uh, I'm going to do some practice today and see how fast I can get uh, I've got like down to three minutes doing it my regular way uh, since I know the F2L now and I practice it I hope to get faster um, I already know you know some of the, the hand tricks uh, and cutting corners so that should be no problem but for those of you that <coughs> need the extra help like I needed and there was no one there to explain it to me well here's my advice um, I hope you could use it. I hope it was useful. And let me know what you think. You know, if I did bad, let me know I did bad. If I insulted anybody, I'm sorry. Let me know. I apologize. But you know, just uh, all the videos would point to a corner, and then just say we're gonna use this piece, but not explain why. Now I'm telling you why. You match up the colors. Forget about the white. The other two colors green and orange, red and green, just find the edges. You know, there's corners, edges, and centers on here, on the cube. You've got to know the pieces really well. I've been working with them a few months now. I have this cube. I have a really nice Xing Shu 2x2, uh, two two, which is right here. I keep all of them in their um, boxes. Here. Got a pyramid, pyraminx. Keep it in this little box. And my Rubik's cube, of course, stays on its little Rubik's balcony thing here. But this is basically not a video on how many cubes I have or anything. I was just kind of explaining how far I've gotten in advance and why well, I never got the F2L until now and now that I know I'm sharing YouTube has given so much to me that I didn't know about if I know something I want to let other people know I want to share it I want you to learn I want you to know that's what we do help each other out we're family on here YouTubers for life right thanks for watching this has uh, been a F2L, I guess, update, or F2L starter kit information. Thank you. Have a great day. God bless all the cubers and speed cubers. Keep at it. I'm right behind you. If I can get faster than you, you better speed up a little bit more. <laughs> Take care.